Welcome, welcome to the Gen M channel. Now you asked for it, so we're going to give it to you today. Pokemon TCGO battle, and we're going to play one using one of our funnest decks by far, which is our Fighting Ground type deck. You can take a look here. We've got Groudon EX. We have a Primal Groudon EX. Regular Groudon. One of my favorite Pokemon as well as one of my most fun cards to use, which is Sudowoodle with Watch and Learn. Lucario EX. Full of awesome. And what would be better than a Lucario EX? You guessed it. Mega Lucario EX. And lots of other treasures in this deck. This is a fun deck. It wasn't put together just to win. It's just to have a great time. So what do you think? Should we start playing now? Let's look for an opponent right now and game on. It's Wage with a water and normal type deck. Good luck, Wage. Hope you have as much fun as I'm about to have. He's calling the coin flip. And I'm hoping that no matter what happens, he either loses it and I get to choose to go second or he chooses to go first because I love going second and I love powering up my Pokemon and being able to attack on my second move. All right, he's choosing who goes first. All right, so he is going first, so we do actually get our way. Oh, my opening hand is no basic Pokemon. That happens sometimes, so I'm gonna reshuffle that. That will give him an extra card. He's choosing his active Pokemon right now. Hopefully he has some better luck than we do with the, um, the hand of cards that we've been dealt. Decisions, decisions. He put out a starting Pokemon, and now there's one card that he's added to his, his bench. A second card added to his bench. There we go, finally. All right. Now we're going to just we're going to reshuffle our deck and get new cards. And again, these aren't the best cards to begin with. We start off with a pseudo wudu, one of my favorite cards, with watch and learn. But I don't like to put pseudo wudu as a starting Pokemon usually. We have no other choice, so we'll do. We'll take what cards we've been dealt, and we go head to head with one of my favorite water type um, cards. Articuno. He's powering up Articuno. He's doing Find Ice. He can look for up to three water type energy cards. And it's worth noting that Sudowoodoo is very weak to water. All right. There's a few things I'm going to do here. One is I'm going to add uh, energy to Sudowoodoo. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take Karina, my supporter. And I'm going to look for a Pokemon of my choice and an item card of my choice. So, can you guess which card I'm going to choose? Yes, yes, and yes. All right. I think it would be great if I could um, take bur the Bursting Balloon and add it to my hand, which I've just done. Let's take that Lucario EX. Stick it on my bench. And right now there's no need to use Bursting Balloon. So we will just end our turn here. So on his deck there's another um, um, Ancient Trait Articuno. It collects an extra prize card if um, it knocks out its opponent. And here of course is Magic Carp. It doesn't take a lot of imagination to know what's going to happen to that magic carp very soon, which is it's going to mega, it's not mega evolve, it's going to evolve into Gyarados. Now, this Articuno has three energies, and it's, I'm not sure if he's going to do Find Ice again because by now he should have a lot of energies, but he's doing Find Ice. Have you found ice yet? I think he just found some ice. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn and 
I have a few ways, I have a few choices here. There's, I can't copy his move because I don't have any water type energy and it's useless to pop off his energy. What I can start doing is getting my Lucario EX ready and I could also add a Bursting Balloon to Sudowoodo. So if when he attacks me in the next move, he will have 60 damage done to him. Ah, decisions, decisions. And I, I could really use Professor Birch's observations right now to... Oh, Tails, so I get four new cards, but there's a Grout on EX. That's not bad. I don't want to put it out, though. I'll tell you why I don't want to put it out. If you take a look at the retreat cost, which is four energies, if he has um, a Lysander card and he's allowed to switch um, my my starting Pokemon with a Pokemon on my bench, he could put it up there and I might not be able to retreat. So that's what I'm thinking of. And I this way, if he uses an escape rope, no matter what he does, I have a great card waiting to take its place. What's he going to do? Is he going to be popped? Is he going to have 60 damage done to him by attacking me? I know he has enough energy to do the attack called Freezing Wind, but he knows that if he does Freezing Wind, that Lucario is going to come out next and it's just going to decimate him. He says move. I don't think he realizes that I have moved. There must be a delay. All right, so he didn't move, and now I can start powering up my wonderful uh, Lucario EX with the fighting type energy. Let's see what happens. Is he going to take the bait and knock out Sudowoodo? All right. Lucario, you could have a mega evolution today. He's drawing three cards with Tierno. He has a lot of cards, as you can see. And on the bench, out comes Snorlax, a normal type. And in the back, you can see Chesspin. Plump Body does, um, reduces attacks by 30. There we go. Okay, he's going to do it. He's going to do Freezing Wind. And look, he's put out a Rough Seas card. It's a stadium card, and I love it because it reduces 30 damage from all water and electric type Pokemon, yours and your opponent's. All right, so let's see what we can do now. Lucario's coming out, and now I have no choice but to put out Groudon EX. I'm also going to put out Terrakion to the bench. And I just have to power up Lucario. It's going to do um, 80 damage because there's resistance. I can either do that or um, I could do Corkscrew Smash to draw s s um, four additional cards. So well, let's see. I want to take a look. Resistance and this one over here. Nope. That, we should be fine. Nope. It'll do we have no weakness to his, his type. So it does 100 damage. Even keeping in mind that we do have a strong energy that's supposed to do another 20 damage. That's what resistance will do for you. All right, he healed 30. He can't heal forever, though. His next attack will be... Oh, he's using Nurse Joy to heal another 60, giving him 10 damage only. Now he's going to go and do Freezing Wind again. He'll do 100 damage. There he is. Powering up his other Articuno, which is a card I actually use in my water deck. I actually use both of these cards in my water tech deck because they're so effective. He's using Lucky Helmet. Have a read. Pause it if you need to. Here comes Freezing Wind at us. Luckily, we have a Nurse Joy on our bench to put things right. But it's very tempting 
And I'm going to do it. I'm going to use another strong energy to increase the damage by 20. Are you ready? Somersault kick! Roar! Resistance, 120 damage. Now that Articuno is knocked out. We are about to draw a prize card. There seems to be a little lag in this game, which, which there can sometimes be. Oh, mama. Primal Groudon EX. It is not a secret rare. It just looks secret rare with all the gold, but it's awesome. All right. Here's Snorlax with absolutely no energy attached. However, it has the lucky helmet. Every time um, Snorlax is hurt, he gets to draw two cards. And you can bet he will be knocked out very soon. His weakness is fighting type. And I think it's a great time to start powering up uh, my Groudon EX. I don't want to use my potion yet. My gold potion, which heals 90. So let's go and... Um, <clears throat> Actually, I'm superstitious. I'm going to use it. I know it's a waste. That's my ace spec card. You only can use one ace spec card per um, per deck. Let's go knock out Snorlax. Here comes Somersault Kick again. Goodbye, sweet Snorlax. The resistance, uh, sorry, weakness does 250. We choose another prize card. The prize card is a fighting type energy, which is always so useful. Now we're going to head to head with Articuno. And Chilling Sigh is very powerful because your opponent's um, active Pokemon immediately goes to sleep. But he's going to do Tri-Edge. He gets to flip three coins and it does three times 20 damage. Sorry, 40 more damage for each heads. 20 plus 40 damage for each heads. It's a very powerful attack, so hopefully he his fingers are probably crossed and he wants to have an excellent coin flip with a lot of heads. Because if he gets three tails, it only does 20 damage. I'm asleep now. Sleep tight, sweet Lucario. And in the meantime, as you know, I'm going to power up my, gra um, my Groudon. Now is a perfect time, since I'm asleep anyway. Would you like to Mega Ball? Should I Mega Evolve to Primal Grout on EX? That sounds like a yes to me. Okay. Lucario is asleep. But you just don't want to miss a chance to, to evolve to a Primal if you can. You don't want to waste that turn. He's Pokemon Fan Club. Now he's going to go search for up to two basic Pokemon. That could even be an EX. He's going to search his deck. As you can see, it's a water type a normal type deck. Oh, it's a shiny Gyarados EX, and it's a full art. And Bufalant again, which is a very popular card and easy to mix into any type deck. Personally, I love cards with abilities because they are so useful. You have, you have the card working for you, even if you have no energy attached to it. All right. Gorgeous card. Let's see how he does. 60 damage. I'm still asleep. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are attaching more fighting type energy to Primal Grout on EX. We're going to end our turn because guess what? We're sleeping. Still asleep. And I'm just hoping that we can wake up so we can do some damage to Articuno. Again, I would highly recommend this Articuno with this Ancient Trait Plus because it's great. If he knocks me out, he does get an extra prize card, just like an EX takes an, um, when you knock out an EX. We're still standing, but we are still asleep. I'm going to have to use the escape rope because I'm just going to be... I don't want to waste a turn. Here's the escape rope. He gets to choose first who he wants to switch with. I'm guessing he chooses the shiny Gyarados EX. 
It wouldn't be wise to bring out a magic carp right now. It's just not going to do much damage. He brings out Buffalon with ability Boofer, and you guessed it, Primal Groudon EX is coming out. And get ready for some heavy action. All right. P Primal Groudon EX does Gaia Volcano for 100 plus. So, um, if there's a, st is a stadium card in play, this attack does a, oh my gosh, so much more damage. And then, but you discard the stadium card. This is going to be quite powerful. You ready? A hundred more damage. It's going to do 200 damage. And with that, it's like weak to this type. So watch what happens. Oh, <laughs> 380. Sorry, Buffalant. And a Karina card, which is so useful. And of course, the Rough Seas Stadium card is now discarded, which no longer can heal all his water type Pokemon. Now here's Articuno again. I don't want to be put to sleep. It's just not, not a fun way to spend the game sleeping, right? But we have a very powerful card here. And hopefully if I can get another Stadium card from my deck... We can get, do 200 damage to something very powerful like that shiny Gyarados EX. Hey viewers, what do you think? Should we keep playing Pokemon TCGO? Are you enjoying this game? Would you like to see other games like it? Oh, I'm asleep, but there's the card I can put out. Oh. I'll put it out in the next... When it's, when it's my next turn. So I'm going to use the Karina Supporter card. I get to look for any Pokemon... And any item cards. So the Pokemon I'm going to choose is Lucario EX. And uh, I could really use um, some energy. I could, I could really use so many of these cards. They're all so useful. I'm trying to think of what should I get. Which one should I get? Lysander. Oh, that's a supporter card. Silly me. Okay. Bursting Balloon. Hypnotoxic Laser. Fighting Fury Belt. Why not Fighting Fury Belt? Sure, I like it. I'll get an extra 40 HP, which is always good. And it will do an additional 10 damage. Fighting Fury Belt attached to the Primal Groudon. And here is Lucario doing um, to the bench. I don't know what he just said. LQG, what does it mean? I have to end the turn. Okay, Wage is going next. I'm still snoring and snoring and snoring. Just waiting to use my stadium card. Just waiting to use it to do an extra 100 damage. He's resistant to my fighting type. Hey viewers, do you, do you ever play Pokemon TCGO or do you play Pokemon TCG? Ninte oh, he's saying Nintendo servers, that they're slow. All right. It's Mega Lucario EX. I can't help it. I'm going to Mega Evolve, all right? All right. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. And it's heads. And I woke up. Primal Groudon EX woke up. We've got two. We've got a Primal and we have a Mega out. Life is sweet. I'm having a great time playing against Wage. I hope Wage is having a good time playing as well. I, it's just the bomb because, I, as I said, he's playing with some of the cards I use in my water deck. He also just put out Oshawott. And um, there's going to be some heavy action right now. Are you ready? I'm putting out Veerbank City Gym, which really... It, accelerates any poisoning that's going to be done but in this case what it's going to do is it's going to do an extra 100 damage and I'm going to put a strong energy out to do an extra 20 damage this is going to be lots of damage to this poor guy but it's all in good fun here comes Gaia Volcano at you that was 200 damage because he is resistant to fighting type he didn't have a chance to choose to claim two um, prize cards from me. I claim one prize card because I'm the X, and he is just just a basic card. Oshawott is coming out.
Oshawa is weak to grass type. And again, Primal Groudon EX is weak to grass type too, so that's something they share in common, although they're different types. He's done a Mega Evolution with Mega Gyarados EX. All right, so here's the professor's ladder that just arrived. Let's go fishing for a couple of energies, fighting type energies, that is. Now, I can always power up Terrakion, but I don't see any cards that make, make um, that prevent EX attacks. So we'll just power up Lucario EX as well, and we will knock him out with Gaia Volcano. Goodbye, Oshawott. Damage increased to 120 because of the fighting type, the strong type energy. We have one prize card left to draw. It's Sudowoodo, one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite Pokemon characters. Watch and Learn is an amazing attack, and it's so powerful for um, an uncommon card. I love that breakpoint card. All right, so we're head to head with Mega Gyarados EX. Blast Geyser for 120 plus damage. And it's Wally's looking for an evolution, a card to evolve um, Magikarp. We know what it is. It's the Gyarados. We're going to need to get Mega Gyarados out of here quickly. You may do 20 more damage for each water type attached to this Pokemon. If you do, discard the top two cards of your deck. All right, let's see. Thank goodness we're not weak to water or this would be quite an attack for us. And thank goodness again, we have the Fighting Fury Belt. It's done 200 damage, but we get... We get an extra 40 uh, life because of this um, Fighting Fury Belt. All right, Regirock, come to the bench. Sudowoodo, come to the bench. Lucario, let's power you up. And are you ready to do some damage now? Gaia Volcano right at you. Damage is increased. It's 120 damage. We have 120 more to go to knock out Mega Gyarados EX. And it's not just any Mega. It's a shiny Mega, the Red Gyarados. I'm really enjoying this game. He's playing some awesome cards. Cards that, that are fun to play and also that look awesome if you collect Pokemon cards. I just absolutely love it. And he's using the Nurse Joy Pokemon Center Lady card to do some 60, um, to heal 60 damage to himself. I hope Wage is enjoying himself because we're having a great time playing this. And I hope viewers, if you're enjoying this, could you give us a thumbs up? And let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. If you don't know how to play Pokemon TCG or Pokemon TCGO, it's really easy. And if you have cards, it's even easier to learn. All right. It is time for me to bring out Mega Lucario e EX. In the meantime, I have to power up my other Lucario EX. And why not? We are going to use the Fresh Water set. It only will heal 30. Unfortunately, I have no other cards to heal, or fortunately. Let's use Rising Fist. Discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, as well as doing 140 damage. And it will knock out one of its water energies as well. But he's already knocked out, which means... Wage, we KO'd you. It was an awesome game. We really enjoyed it. And it was, thanks for playing us here on the Jenna M channel. So let's see. Thanks for not conceding. We love to finish a game. What did we win? What did we win? We won... One coin, and let's see, is there a present? Did we win anything else? That wasn't a big win. So again, what do you think? Did you enjoy watching this Pokemon TCGO game? Did it, was it an exciting battle for you with two Mega Evolutions? It was very exciting for me, and I loved the cards my opponent played. So I wanted to say thank you for watching this video. Please come again to old videos and to new videos we make. And more than anything, please subscribe. And if you like our channel, please tell your friends about it. We would love to have them visit our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.